This video is brought to you by JLC PCB. Finally, the work of installing LED strips in my room is done. As you can see, I have used three different colored LED strips. These LED strips run on a 220 volt AC supply and these are simple LED strips. There is no remote controller. So right now I can't turn these LED strips on or off remotely. So I'm thinking of designing a Bluetooth application for this so that I can easily control these ceiling lights from my bed. By the way, ready-made LED strip lights are also available that comes with a remote controller. You can also purchase them, but there is a different fun in making a control system with your own hands. For this project, I'm going to use ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. You can also use Arduino, but it will increase the project overall cost. And with Arduino, you can't show much creativity. But if you use the ESP32 controller board, then the cost of your project will decrease because you don't have to purchase the Bluetooth module separately. It's available on the ESP32 board itself. And in addition to that, ESP32 has Wi-Fi as well. So you can make an IoT application for it in the future by using Blink IoT application. And this way you will be able to control your ceiling lights from any part of the world. I have already made many videos on this. I have added links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, before I'm going to explain the connections and programming, first let's watch this Bluetooth controlled ceiling LED strip lights controller in action. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash scale to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files. It automatically detects the number of layers and dimensions. Select the number of PCBs you want to order. Select your favorite PCB color. The price is automatically updated as you select different features. Finally, you can click on the Save to Cart button. You will only need to pay $2 for 1 to 4 layers PCBs and $0 for your PCB assembly. Besides this, JLC PCB also offers industrial 3D printing services starting at only $1. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. My ESP32 based LED strips Bluetooth controller is already powered up and right now you can't see it because it's hidden. Next I'm going to open my Android cell phone application. I'm going to click on the search button to select my device. You can see my Bluetooth just got connected and now I can use these buttons to control all the three LED strips. So this is exactly what you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. J1 is the DC female power check and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module and the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the ESP32 module. These are 12 volt SPDT type relays and can't be directly controlled using the ESP32 module. So that's why we need a driver to control these relays. You can use a relay driver IC or you can use 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. One pin of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the other pin of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the 10 kilo ohm resistor. 
Now to control these relays, you simply need to connect these 10 kilo ohm resistors with the ESP32 I.O. pins. In this project, I'm using the GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I'll be using the same pins in the programming. The neutral wire from the 220 volt AC supply is connected with the neutral of all the LED strips, while the live wire from the AC supply is connected with the LED strips through these relays. These are the PCBs I received from JLC PCB. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. This is how my ESP32 development board looks after soldering. If you want to make the same development board, then you can watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyway, as you can see, this board has four relays and using these four relays, you can control four loads. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. If this is your first time using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, then first you will need to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. I already have a very detailed video on this. I'll provide a link in the description. This is the same exact code from my ESP32 based home automation project. So if you want to know in detail about this code, then just go ahead and watch my video on ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module based home automation project. I have already uploaded this program and now let's start with the Android cell phone application. As you know, it takes hours and even days to design an Android application. So in this video, I'm not explaining how I designed this Bluetooth application for controlling ceiling LED strips. As I have a separate video on how to design your own Android application using Android Studio. But if you want to use the same application, then you can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. For demonstration purposes, I have connected only one LED strip as per the circuit diagram. I have powered up my ESP32 development board using a 12 volt adapter and I have also connected 220 volt AC supply for powering up this LED strip. Never touch the relay contacts when the AC supply is on because it can be really dangerous. So wear protective gloves when working on such high voltage projects. Anyway, the whole setup is ready for the testing. Before you open the Android application, first turn on Bluetooth on your cell phone to pair the ESP32 Bluetooth. As you can see, my cell phone is now paired. Next, open the Android application. Search for the paired device. Select the device and you are good to go. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.